Six, five, four, three, two, one, zero, and lift off for the final launch of Endeavour. Between 10 and 20,000 people that work on it. So it's, it's an amazing vehicle, amazing technology. And putting people in space is hard. And uh, we figured out how to do it with a shuttle and, and do it safely in our lab. I got to build the first bit of the hardware. I got to see it uh, go together. We, we assembled it, uh, stacked it. In fact, I was down there to receive the first segments. When they first came down, I got a picture of the paper uh, still in my scrapbook. The way it just gleamed in the sun, it was a magnificent icon sitting out there on the launch pad. STS-132, I got to go see. It's the most awesome feeling to, as you sit there and watch that, you know, knowing that you had just a small part that made that fly. It's always uh, made me feel proud to be able to say I worked on something that's much bigger than the individual program. It's, it's uh, not building a rocket motor, it's uh, putting man into space. One time we even had the opportunity to take a trip down to Florida. It was really exciting to do that with my dad and, and talk about how one day maybe I could build rockets. And, and it was a kid's dream. As, as chief engineer standing up there at the podium the first time, looking out at the audience, it just hit me so hard that now I was part of that. And I was uh, living the dream. I wasn't flying, but I was part of that. We were starting on our third flight set of nozzles. That was in 1982, and I've worked on just about all of them since then. You receive the first segment, and then you get the aft in there and start putting the instrumentation on it. It's almost like it gets a heartbeat. The thing comes to life to you. It's an end of an era, an end of a time. I, I, I'm pretty nostalgic because I've, I've had an opportunity to work with some of the best people in the industry and the best people in this country. And like most things in life, it's, it's all about relationships and people. The guy out uh, growing tomatoes next to me on the fence was a, a world-renowned ammonium perchlorate expert. And the guy across the street changing his oil was a program manager for the space shuttle. And what a great experience to live in a town where you're all pulling together when everybody knew when a launch was coming up. That sense of community back at home as well as at the plant was, uh, was powerful. It was a new thing to me. I wouldn't trade that for anything. The things that you go through in life that are challenging and difficult uh, help galvanize those relationships. It goes all the way back to Challenger. You know, when you go through tough times together, you find out what people are made of. Various points along the way that actually change who you are, how you think, how you feel. So each of these different uh, obstacles that have come along the way have, have made us a little stronger and a little better. And some of them are very personal. We uh, got to know the astronauts pretty good, and they'd come around once in a while and kick the tires, and it made you a little more conscientious, I think, of, of doing that job right. I thought that would be the thrill of a lifetime, see the shuttle lift off with my own eyes, and I went outside and watched that, and uh, surprisingly, it was an anticlimax because I was outside as almost a tourist. I wasn't in with the team doing my job. What an honor it is to, to work out here, to be a part of that. It, this is our family. Eight of us went down and we watched the shuttle launch and we knew that we built that shuttle. We were a part of those motors. Is this kind of like a championship team, knowing that there's a lot of people behind you? It's kind of like America's team, you know. Even the geek engineer can be part of history, be part of something momentous. and. Uh, and I don't know where we find it outside of this venture. Truly, I, I don't know where we find it. We should all be proud of sending people in space, and that's the end of that era. And hopefully we continue on within a few years so my kids and grandkids will have that experience. That's really something that's an achievement. Pride in America. It's much like the story we talk about being a bricklayer versus building a cathedral. I feel like I've been building a cathedral. I think we've got a legacy to be very proud of. 
It's that teamwork, being part of the experience that's made us such a great ride, such a great life.